Hey guys, Brad here. In this video I want to talk to you about the Arc'teryx Alpha Jacket. This is their uh, premier military inspired hard shell jacket. Um, it is made from Gore-Tex XCR, which is a, a three layer um, abrasion resistant Gore-Tex material that they use. Um, let's just uh, get started here. So it has a storm flap over the zipper, which is held by little Velcro dots. Um, it certainly uh, do a, a bit more than just a waterproof zipper, I, I suppose, um, to keep water from entering along the front zipper. The inside of the material, um, I don't know if this is exactly a lining. I, I assume it is some sort of lining. It doesn't feel as good as um, the tricot material that Triplot Design uses on the inside of the Stealth LT. Uh, just as a warning here, I, I've only really owned, as far as hard shells go, um, the Stealth LT and uh, Marmot Minimalist, I think it was called, which is a, a pack light shell. I didn't really like much about the, the Marmot Minimalist. Um, so you probably will hear a lot of uh, comparisons to the Stealth LT throughout the course of this video. It has a, an interior pocket on each side with a, a really small, almost hard to grab zipper. Um, that could probably be remedied with uh, you know, some paracord or something. Just uh, put a little bit of a zipper pull in there. You can see on the inside of the pocket it's still the, the same as the inside of the jacket. Um, everything is seam sealed. It is fully waterproof even where it's been sewn. Uh, they put heat shrink over what appears to be maybe something like a type 1 accessory cord on uh, some of the zippers here. So this is an interior pocket here. It is just barely big enough uh, to put your hand in, although it's not really meant as a hand warmer pocket. And there is some uh, room on the other side of the zipper as well. It has uh, 14 inch long pit zips. Hopefully you can see all of this. So that'll be helpful for uh, venting heat, and trust me, with this Gore-Tex material, heat builds up quick. Um, it's been raining a lot here in Connecticut. It is still summer. I tried wearing this uh, just to the grocery store and a couple other places um, a couple days ago, and heat built up really quick, even with the pit zips open and sort of wearing it unzipped in the front. Um, heat builds up in this a lot faster than it does in the sea change that um, Triple Out Design uses in the Stealth LT. So, whereas the Stealth LT would be a hard shell that would be great for um, heavy rain during the summer months or uh, warmer uh, spring or fall days, this would not. I really wouldn't recommend wearing this um, if it's very warm out at all. Maybe, maybe if it's like 60 degrees out, it'd feel pretty good. But yeah, this would definitely block all water, uh, all wind. Um, one thing to note here, the zipper has a, has a little button here, the bottom, so you can uh, button that. But one thing to note is the length. It's uh, cut on a bias, so I don't know if you can see this, but it's longer in the back than it is in the front. So to me in the front, it's a bit too short. Um, you can see a lot of my, my base layer, my t-shirt, uh, sticking out of the bottom and when I tried layering this with uh, mid layers just to see how well it would layer, uh, I had the same exact problem. A lot of uh, the mid layer would stick out of the bottom. <coughs> I don't know if that's uh, a problem for anyone else, but I don't really like it. I don't really like that. I, I feel like my, my outer layer, my waterproof layer isn't really going to do that great of a job with my uh, base layer or mid layer would still be getting wet. Uh, it does have cuffs here. For some reason the Velcro doesn't feel as high of a quality. Uh, it might just be in my head, but it doesn't feel as high of a quality of Velcro as what Triple Watt Design uses. Um, I do like the, the Velcro uh, patch area on the shoulder here. It does have bicep pockets. For being a little bit hard to unzip. So it does have a waterproof bicep pocket on each side. Uh, no heat shrink on these poles. Um, you'll notice there's a lot of extra material. It's sort of made to, to go over body armor or uh, whatever you might want to layer. There is there's a lot of extra material here. Um, 
just something to consider if you need a lot of extra material on the arms because you're just that buff or I don't know you, you wear a lot of armor or really bulky uh, insulation layers this would probably be a pretty pretty good jacket for you they claim that um, the cut of the material allows you to fully like raise your arms without the jacket pulling up. I don't find that to be true. I uh, pull my t-shirt back down. So you can see when I raise my arms the jacket definitely lifts up uh, exposing more of my, my base layer or mid layer. Not that I have a, a great occasion to be lifting directly above my head. Uh, there is a shock cord pull here. So, okay. You control it by pulling on this tab inside of the, the front pockets. So squeeze here, you pull on this, and you'll tighten the cuff around uh, your waist. Now the, the main reason why I, I really wanted to look at this jacket was the hood. So, um, on the Stealth LT, the triple out design, uh, the hood is the only thing I really don't like about it. So on this you can see I have a, a collar here. Um, personally, I don't think I'm going to keep it just because the, the Gore-Tex material uh, it doesn't let out any heat. I know I've, I've heard a lot of people say, oh well, no material breathes um, as far as hard shells go. After experiencing this Gore-Tex XCR versus the sea change material that Triple Out Design uses, some materials breathe and <laughs> Gore-Tex isn't one of them. So. Personally, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna send this jacket back. I really wish that I could pull the hood off of this and put it in my Stealth LT. Um, I'm gonna keep looking at different options, and if I find something that I like better, I will report back and let you know. Oh, let's take a quick look at the Alpha pants. Assuming I have any video uh, time remaining before my camera cuts me off. So this is the same XCR material. It has uh, two pockets, one on either side. Um, Kind of about here, I guess, but in the front, about where your cargo pocket would normally go. Um, it has a zipper, of course. However, the zipper can also go up, which I don't know, seems a little bit weird to me to have this little zipper pull here. I probably, uh, whatever, I, I don't know if that helps you, then great. <laughs> uh, you button it so the zipper doesn't pull down on its own. And it has a little interlocking plastic tab here on a built-in belt to uh, cinch it down against your waist. It has something that's uh, abrasion resistant here. It's like 75% nylon, 25% Kevlar. So if you have uh, boots or crampons or whatever, it's going to protect against uh, high abrasion in that area. It's also the XCR material. It's fully seam taped. Um, shouldn't let any water in. You have a zipper that goes up the full length of the side up to about here to a zipper garage there it has a button here so it doesn't come accidentally unzipped but that really plays the sides open if you need to vent some it has some elastic in the waist these are a pretty good option if you like the, the Gore-Tex material and you're looking for some waterproof pants that fit fully over my vertical Okay, so I realized uh, not only did the camera cut me off, but the hood didn't really show up at all. I've moved the camera to a higher shelf. So here's how the hood fits. Um, let's see, let's do this again. So fully unadjusted. Pretty cavernous, pretty big. Can't really see much. Um, the bottom pull tab brings the hood down a little bit. The top pull tab brings it in. Get a really good fit. You have a full range of view. Um, peripheral vision is good. You can move your head and the hood sort of moves with you. Uh, still gives you a lot of side protection for your face. If you uh, let's see, bring it out a little bit, you can get even more. So. Okay, I'm back. I had a lot of camera problems, it got too hot to continue wearing this, um, but I just wanted to finish up the video by saying I, I do think this is a really great jacket. Um, they put a lot of thought into it, like um, 
with this felt material on the back of the neck and where the zipper comes up on your chin. Um, just all, all of the examples I've talked about throughout the video. Um, the hood is amazingly well designed. Um, this thing will last forever. Arcteryx has great customer service, so if something did happen, they would repair or replace the jacket. Um, the only thing is, I'm not really a big fan of Gore-Tex. I, I've I figured that out now, and I'm going to continue looking elsewhere. I think that if um, I had started out with Gore-Tex instead of Sea Change, I, I'd probably like this a lot more than I do, but now I know that there are things like Sea Change material out there, and I think I'm going to continue looking more so at uh, items that use that. I don't ex I, I would like to see um, Arcteryx update this jacket. I think it came out in 06. I just you know bought this 2013. Um, but I'm pretty sure the design hasn't really changed since it came out. And uh, the materials that they use, which they're pretty good about updating the materials that they use in their civilian line uh, rapidly. But the, the materials that they use in their military uh, items, I, I think this is this has been the same since it came out in 06. I would like to see them update this material. Um, honestly, I, I think that Arcteryx has some sort of a deal with Gore-Tex where they're not really allowed to, to use any other um, brands of material in their shells. So I don't think you're going to see anything in a hard shell from uh, Arcteryx other than Gore-Tex. Uh, 